I do. Yeah, I do. I feel like I feel like we showed that no matter what the adversity, no matter what circumstances we're in, that we can overcome them, and that we're a really tough, we're a really good team. So. That's, that's what I got. Is there any part of this that's weird or bittersweet? Because you guys are celebrating and feeling good, and now you have to sit for the next 12 hours and wonder if that was really good enough. All I know is that I think me and my brothers are going to be happy and celebrate <laughs> this one. So whatever happens in the 12 hours is going to happen. But but right now, we're going to celebrate this one. Cool. Thanks, Coop. Congrats, Thanks, man. Coop, what got in you the last two games? I mean, the last two games, it feels like you've played your best since you've been here. What what brought that out of you? Uh, you know, I just knew that if I, as long as I keep going hard, as long as I keep doing my job, that eventually my plays will come. And that's really it. That's what really all is there is to it. I know if I keep going hard, keep trusting in my culture, keep trusting in my job, and just keep getting better game by game, the plays are going to come. Northwestern cuts it to three, I think, there in the second half. What's the conversation like on the sideline with the defense? They got two quick scores, just, and I think you held them to three the rest of the way. What was the conversation like on the defensive sideline? And it's on us, you know, and it's, it, it starts with the defense. And if we're going to win this game, we're going to have to stop them. And the defense is going to have to go out there and play that it's really on us. That was really the conversation is that it's on the defense. We have to, we have to be the ones to stop them and change the momentum.